after setting up the rotary device motor, we are ready to engrave bracelets or another similar objects. If you want to learn how to configure the motor of this rotary device, I recommend you visit our page web www.barchlaser.com slash blog. Now I'll go to the software and write a test. I'm going to shrink in it and then apply the fill or hatch option. Change the design angle by pressing Ctrl and Arrow on your keyboard and adjust the design by 90 degrees. For this material, we will use 1500 speed, 45% power and 85 on frequency. In the previous video how to engrave tumblers, we used the grips to engrave outside to the inside. Now I'm going to change them for the grips that hold from the inside to the outside. On the left, we can see the grips that hold inside outside, and on the right, we can see the grips outside to inside. As we can see, there is a groove in the rotary. And we can also see a series of numbers. First, I will install the number one at the beginning of the track. When we already feel that the first grip is inside the group, we install the grip number 2. Once you check the grip number 2 is also inside the track, install the grip number 3. All three grippers should be right in the center as you can see on the screen. Once it's set it up, we can install our bracelet. The bracelets that I got to run this test aren't fully run or conical. making them much more complicated to engrave correctly. But for now, I will try to adjust them almost uniformly so that the engraving looks good. Once the bracelet is in the position, I will put it just below the red sensor light. Sometimes when the object is too close to the sensor, we have no material reading. There is when you must take the controller and adjust it manually. We press the up button slowly until we see the sensor reading. From now on, the system will adjust it automatically. Once the material is adjusted and in the correct position to engrave, we can go to the rotary test mark option. Here we will limit ourselves to changing only our object's diameter, which is close to 76 millimeters. We press OK and now press F1 to see the engraving area. 
I arrange it manually. And once adjusted, we press F2. As you can see we got the nice white effect we were looking for. Now I will do the same process but to achieve a dark color. I will change my parameters. but we will manually move up the engraving area from 2 to 4 millimeters away from the engraving object. This is called out of focus and is used to give dark color effect over steel materials. I adjust my engraving area and then press F2. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We upload videos like this every week. You can also visit our page web www.barshlaser.com slash blogs and there you can find much more information and tutorials like this one. Remember to like and share our video and see you next time.